there are two types of oversleepers. One is the oversleeper who sleeps on time, who sleeps at night, does not stay up the whole night. And this oversleeper would not lose out much. And then there's this other oversleeper who stays up the whole night and then oversleeps. And this oversleeper is, you know, is not able to do a lot of things. And he is a person who is in a state where he is not able to achieve any goals in his life. So the Muslim is a person who sleeps some time, sleeps at night, wakes up early in the morning. A Muslim is able, supposed to wake up at Fajr time in the morning. So the biggest loss, the first loss, the biggest loss that the person gets when he oversleeps and when he stays up the whole night and then oversleeps, the biggest loss he makes is that he misses his Fajr prayers. So when you miss your Fajr prayer, that means in the Hadith it comes that if you if you pray Fajr prayers with Jamaat, it is as if you get the reward of staying up the whole night and doing ibadat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the whole night. So sometimes the shaitan gives you this thing, okay, no, no, just stay up the whole night and do ibadat. And what happens is in the middle of the night, like close to fajr, you fall asleep and you miss your fajr prayers. The Prophet has said that no, you should sleep. You should sleep on time and wake up before fajr. So the biggest loss that the person has who cannot control his sleep, who has no schedule of sleep, the biggest loss he incurs is that he is not able to pray his Fajr on time. And the Prophet has said that the sign of the Munafiq, the sign of the Munafiq is that he will not pray Fajr and Isha prayers on time. So the biggest loss is that he loses out on his Fajr prayer. The one who cannot control his sleep will not be able to control Fajr prayers. And the second thing is that the person who is